everybody. In this video, we're going to show how to install a graphics card on this Dell Inspiron 531S computer. Now, this lets you run dual monitors, and that's why I bought this. It was about 18 bucks online. And make sure you buy the proper one for your computer if you're looking to upgrade your graphics card. This is a low-profile one. You can take a look at the back here. You can see we only got one VGA port. But this one's going to go down here where these little metal uh, tabs are. One's going to come out and we're going to install it and it's going to be really easy. So I already took two screws out. One was right here. One was right here. And then this thing just kind of pulls out like this. And there's that cover for you. Here's the inside of your system. And then I believe one of those... That white one is where we're going to install it. So let's All get right, to so it. This folds up and this allows that to go up. All right. And here's our cards here. This is our, I think that's our landline cord. Surprisingly, this has that still. And I believe this one goes, man, this one goes right in one of these. I believe maybe that one. No, one of these goes. All right. So I got the little tabs out. That's really easy. They just pull straight out. But I got to just fit this in here somehow and we'll be set. Right, maybe I can show it again. The little tabs here are a little tricky. But here I'll show this side. They go right behind the circuit board. You can kind of see there. Let me see if I can point it out. You can see they go right there. And then they go over like that. Kind of go over like that. I'll snap it in here for a second here. While I'm filming. Like that. They just slide right in like that. See? Slide in. Make it work. Make it work. Make it work. Like that. So same thing with this thing. Slide it in there. Push it firmly in. Alright. It's in there. Alrighty. That's thing to do is power it up and make sure it works. So I plugged it back in. We got the that fan going, but I'm gonna check to make sure the other one's going for the graphics card. The fan is on the other side, so let's go ahead and take a gander here. Let's see if we can see it through there. Oh yeah, it's spinning. You can see the red fan where it's spinning. Wonderful. So it really wasn't too bad on this Dell. We had to pop this cover off, then this whole piece folds up. It was a little tricky in, in there, but all you do is just slap it on, you know, push it down, and then it's good Various to go. models that uh, graphics cards that come with uh, uh, HDMI and two VGA cables, but this one came with this little guy. I don't know what the name of this one's called, but it comes with this little white cable, and you can split it to two. So, if we take a look here. That's where we installed it. It has an S video right here, and then this white one that I'll plug in, and then I'll be able to get two. And I believe I can still use the old one so I can have three monitors. I believe, but we're going to check. But I'm going to show you how to quickly do it. You're going to right click anywhere on the desktop. And then it's going to say personalize right down there. You can go ahead and click that. Then go to display settings for me. And then this is where it gives you here. I'll bring it down to this one so it's closer. It gives you all the options to set up your monitor just exactly how you want it. It lets you uh, label what monitors like... Uh, the big one is number two, which is my TV, and then the smaller one is my smaller computer monitor, that one right there. You can identify them. Here's one, here's two, to do that so. And then uh, when you put the graphics card in, it's going to pop up a little, uh, man, where is it? Let me find it here. Here it is. It's going to uh, give you your hardware, and then it's going to give you, uh, should let you find a software for it. Where did I find that? All right, so click properties and then this will show up. It will show your graphics card driver. And for that, if you're still having the trouble where it was just mirroring the two, uh, maybe the software is not updated enough and you're gonna have to go uh, and do this route. You're gonna click properties and you're gonna click driver. I'm gonna update driver. And then that's how I was able to, it gave me the update. I had to restart my windows. And then it gave me the option that it it figured out there was two different monitors here. So then I was able to 
actually set them up to have dual. So now I can have YouTube going on this one, and on this one just be browsing the internet or vice versa. And that's how you install your graphics card and get it working properly. I hope this helped you, and check out our channel for more videos and how-to stuff. Bye for now.